Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys another update on the upgrade that I done to my Outcast. Well, it's got a notorious body on it now, but I had uh, been noticing some of the screws on the bottom getting to where I couldn't un loosen them. The heads were getting kind of messed up by landing on the rocks and stuff. So I had purchased in one of my other videos that you guys have probably seen, I had bought one of those vinyl decal stickers that goes over here, goes up under the front skid and the rear skid, and it just, it's got an adhesive and it sticks on there. Well, it was 20 bucks, thought I'd try it. Wasted 20 bucks, cause it lasted one good bash in the gravel and it just peeled off, cracked through, no good at all. But I, I'd done away with it and I'd been just continually bashing this thing without any protection down here other than the front and the rear skids. So I thought I would do this. I, I took a flat piece of aluminum that you get at Lowe's Hardware and I countersunk two screw holes on it. And then I've got plenty of room underneath. This lands just in front of the front chassis brace screw, which bolts right about there. And this hole is in that open void behind the rear chassis brace. I had plenty of room in there to do it. And this added just a few ounces to the overall weight of the truck, which I think it'll do good. This is not tested yet but it will have to keep some of the rocks and stuff when this thing lands, keep it from off the chassis plate. I saw another guy on YouTube, he had bought an extra chassis plate for an outcast and he had trimmed about a half inch off of each side and just laid on top of this. Of course, he had to get longer screws, which, you know, that worked fine, you know, awesome idea, but I just didn't want to add quite that much weight to my rig. And I'll try to show you in here where the screws come out. That one is just under the steering plate there, kind of in front, underneath the front chassis brace. And then the other one, I have to turn the truck around. See, it, it comes out right in there. And I just put a lock nut on it and I believe it'll, it'll have to help some to keep my chassis from getting so scarred up by rocks and hard landings. So I'll try to update this in a week or so and let you guys know how it went, but it's pretty simple. Like I said, countersunk two screws, piece of aluminum, this thing weighs very minimal. So it should be good. Add a little bit of life to that chassis. We've got a little real steel shining through on this new notorious body that I bought. That's the good thing about that body, it fit right where the outcast, the original outcast body fit. Without any making any new holes. I took that body off, put the brand new Notorious body right back on it. Holes were already there, the only thing I had to do was just swap out the roll bar there. Worked just fine. Like and subscribe guys, I'll be bringing updates from time to time on these Arma vehicles. And I assume this same little trick will work on the Creighton, I've not tried it yet. But uh, we, we may add that also to my son's Creighton. Have a great day, guys.